A disturbing incident at a Buffalo Wild Wings in Illinois going viral. A group of mostly African-American adults and young kids from a youth basketball team say they were asked to move because another customer didn't, and I quote here, want black people sitting near him. But one of the women in the group, Mary Ball, wrote about it on a Facebook post that has been shared more than 5,000 times. And now Buffalo Wild Wings says that they have fired the employees involved. Joining me now, one of the men who was asked to move, Marcus Riley and his attorney, Cannon Lambert. Gentlemen, thank you so much for joining us. I appreciate it. Uh, Marcus, I'm going to start with you. you know, this is a terrible story. The trouble started before you and the team were even seated at the Buffalo Wild Wings. What happened? Um, as, as we walked in, um, my boy Justin was, was, uh, was greeted by the host and right away he was asked, um, after he told, told what, what size our party was, he was asked what, what ethnicity, um, was our party. And it, it really just started from then. He asked what ethnicity and then what, what happened? It just went from, the, what, what, did, what did you say? What did they say? So we were seated. Um, we weren't willing to uh, really accommodate that type of, of, of behavior. Uh, we didn't really want to let it bother us. So we, we were seated and we were, we were going to eat um, anyway. Um, so, so we just went ahead and sat down and, and, and tried to enjoy a meal. Mm. OK, so you, you coach these kids, right? And so what did they ask you Absolutely. while you were leaving before, even after you had started to order? Um, well, well, while we were leaving on the way out, they asked, you know, they, they immediately thought that we had done something wrong, it, right? They assumed that we were in the wrong because, because we, we decided to leave and I, and I had to, um, I had to say to them, like, you know, it, we're not wrong. What we're doing is we're choosing to, to spend our money elsewhere because we're not appreciated here. Um, one of the most difficult conversations I had to have, but, um, to get them to understand, you know, what I was saying in that moment was, was, was troubling for them and, and for myself, to be, to be honest. Do they, do they seem to understand the gravity of it? Because that's, that seems like, a, especially in this day and age, a really just outrageous request from anyone in any business. Do they think that they were in trouble for doing something wrong? Well, not per se trouble, um, but they, they knew that, they seen me um, having that conversation and they, and they knew when they felt it was difficult at that moment. So, you know, as kids, they were concerned. Um, obviously, they, they knew that something wasn't going right and um, not exactly what at the moment, but it, it was just a bunch of confusion mm -hmm. on, on their behalf to, to figure out like, hey, what, what's really going on? And, mm -hmm. and then once me getting that message across to them um, was, was even more difficult because it's, it's like, why, what, how? Um, is this happening? And, and, you know, for me to explain as a coach, because I explain everything else to them, right, in life, um, on the basketball court, um, but I, I've, never, I've never thought I would have to explain something that, about, about race and, and color um, to, to a, a body of 10 and 12-year-olds. Just real quick before I go move on to Canada, because I want to ask him about the legal ramifications for this. But did, did, um, did you see the person that they were talking about? Was the person in the restaurant? Did, did you point him out or you had no idea who it was? Um, yes, I, I seen a person. Actually, he uh, before I was asked to move uh, because of the color of my skin, the, the person was actually the table right in front of us. Um, and what struck me the worst was after we were asked to move because who we are, who we are as people, um, the the two managers at Buffalo Wild Wings sat with that couple um, right in front of our face after after we had this conversation. Wow, Cannon, let me bring you in. Uh, and this, I want to read the statement from Buffalo Wild Wings today, and it says. We take this incident very seriously and after conducting a thorough internal investigation have terminated the employees involved. Further, we have banned the customer who exhibited the inappropriate behavior from all Buffalo Wild Wings sports bars for life. Buffalo Wild Wings values an inclusive environment and has zero tolerance for discrimination of any kind. They also say that they'll have sensitivity training in their Chicago area bars. Do you think that's enough, Cannon? I don't. Uh, but I hope that we can continue to dialogue with them so that a better solution can be achieved. At the end of the day, uh, if they're now talking about instituting training programs, the fear that I have is that it suggests that there weren't programs in place before, or if there were, 
they clearly were not sufficient. So the hope is that we can talk about those things. And we know that this is the type of thing that violates the Illinois Human Rights Act. And we know that uh, this is something that should never happen. But what we need to do is make sure that in terms of corporate citizenry, that corporate citizens do everything they can to honor and respect those who they invite into their establishments. What change are you hoping to see come out of this? <laughs> well, you know, you hope that five, six, seven, eleven-year-old kids, all the way up to eleven-year-old kids, would never be exposed to this. Uh, but we certainly would hope that it wouldn't be perpetuated by businesses in the way that it was today. Well, it's or, just, it, a week ago. It's interesting that they wouldn't ask that customer to leave, and they sat with that customer uh, allegedly. Um, and you, you say you saw them do it. Then like, why wouldn't they ask him to leave and say, if you don't want to sit next to black people? then you need to leave the establishment because we serve all people here. Would have been a really nice situation where if they were aware of the, uh, uh, the unfortunate views of this particular couple, that instead of supporting them in their conduct, they would have said publicly, listen, everyone is welcome here and we invite all people into this establishment and cannot wait to see them serviced. We're glad they're here, and we're going to show everyone that we're glad that they're here. Cannon, Marcus, thank you so much. Keep us updated, okay? Thank you so much. Keep us updated. You bet. All right, thank you.